How's it going there, social media? I will not be here before you too long. I just wanted to stop by and offer these moments of reflection. I want to tell you that this is the hour and this is the season. This is the hour and the season where you have got to make your mind up that you will not be distracted. You will not be deterred off of the pathway of the way that the Lord has called and ordained you to be to conquer. I want you, I am praying on your behalf. I am praying. I am seeking the very face of God that you all who were called for ministry and who were called to do glorious things in the kingdom of God, that you do not be distracted from the greatest mission that God has called you to do. The word of God says that he causes you to be overcomers. He's causing you to be the victorious one. He called you to become the conqueror. He said in his word that we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Do not allow the enemy to get you off focus and to get you off course. Listen. God has great need of you in this time of the hour and the season that we are in. Furthermore, though, we cannot allow to give in to the tricks and the snares and cares of the enemy. Stop worrying about things that does not promote purpose. I'm going to say this again. Stop entertaining, feeding things that does not cause purpose. Purpose. That means everything that we do, each one of us was called to do something great and dunamis in the kingdom of God. Stop falling into the snare and the traps of the enemy causing you to be distracted and to be teared off course from the path in which God has called you to be. Stop buying in to the negativity that's on social media. Stop. God did not call you to entertain it. If you do see negativity, pray. That is the time you should pray and fall on your knees and ask God to invade. I am telling you, my brothers and my sister, and those who are watching this video at this very moment, at this present time, the enemy's on a prowl. He would love to get you off course. He would love to get you off track. But you have the power. The power is in you. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. That's right. And I'm praying that the hand of God will touch your life like never before. I am praying that the very power of the Holy Spirit will move in your life like never before. I am praying that God will give you the spiritual stamina and he will give you the endurance to overcome and to offset anything that is planned against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Until then, I want you to be blessed and I want you to continue to invoke the presence of God, invite the Holy Spirit, and lean upon the admiration of the Lord. God bless and take care, and may heaven smile upon you.